Sakia Starmer, the UK Prime Minister, has been in the limelight recently after he has had some backlash over receiving quote unquote freebies from wealthy benefactors over the past few weeks or months. And it's kind of rubbed the general public the wrong way because, well, you know, Sakia Starmer, he's not exactly um, someone who's like not strapped with cash. He's, he's got a lot of money. He's the UK Prime Minister. And, you know, as the head of the Labour Party, it's been said by people that he should be, you know, like the the people that he's running. And if there's people that have to eat out of food banks and are struggling to afford their heating this winter or deciding whether it's going to be their heating or their, uh, their, their bills or food this, this uh, winter, then he shouldn't really be receiving freebies from wealthy benefactors. But... That was the row that was apparently being tossed up. Now, I don't really delve into politics too much on this channel because I feel like it's a very, um, you know, it, it can get quite heated quite quick, but I thought I'd cover it. So, he has actually repaid more than £6,000 in gifts and donations, okay? So, here's what has been going on. UK Prime Minister Sakia Starmer has paid back more than £6,000 worth of gifts and hospitality received since becoming Prime Minister following backlash over donations. The Prime Minister is covering the cost of six Taylor Swift Cutler tickets, four tickets to the races and a clothing rental agreement with a high-end designer favoured by his wife, Lady Starmer. It comes after Sakia and other cabinet ministers have faced weeks of criticism for accepting freebies from wealthy donors. The Prime Minister said it was, quote, right for him to repay the costs of some gifts. Sakia was asked about the donations during a trip to Brussels for a talk with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. Leyen. I've definitely butchered that. I do apologise. The Prime Minister has said his government will bring forward new principles for donations as until now politicians have used their best individual judgment to decide. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's obviously a very touchy subject because, you know, like I said before, there are people in the UK especially that are struggling to, you know, heat their homes, put food on the table for their kids, you know, relying on donations from food banks and things like this to kind of keep themselves afloat. And then Sir Keir Starmer is supposed to be like the guy, like the Labour Party was always the party that kind of in the UK that represented the people. It was like the, the working class that would be represented. The Conservatives were always kind of the uh, middle to upper class that would got represented. And, um, you know, Labour Party was put into place to kind of represent the working class people. And it, it kind of rubbed people the wrong way that they are struggling under his watch. And he's getting these freebies to Taylor Swift concerts, to the races, you know, designer clothing, rental agreements. It's a bit, it, it definitely rubbed people the wrong way. And I can, I can kind of see why. Uh, I took the decision that until those principles were in place, it was right to repay those particular payments, he said. Now, again, this is something that a lot of people have criticised because they said that, well, if, if, it, if there wasn't controversy or backlash, would he be paying those back? That was the kind of question that was tossed up. Now, again, I don't want to get too political. I don't want this to be like World War Three or seem like I'm, you know, I've got any particular bias. I don't actually care. Um, like, I feel like all politicians are kind of the same in my personal opinion. But, you know, like, it, people were like, well, you're only apologising because you got caught and you're only paying back because people were, you know, criticising you for it. If, if that, that criticism wasn't there, would you be paying back that £6,000? We don't know. So Keir has uh, committed to tightening the rules around ministerial hospitality and gifts to improve transparency. Earlier, a Downing Street spokesperson confirmed that the ministerial code will be updated and will include a new set of principles on gifts and hospitality commissioned by Sir Keir. MPs are allowed to accept gifts from donors, but have to declare these on the register of MPs' interest. The media storm over the donations to mi uh, ministers has dodged uh, dogged, sorry, Sir Keir's government since Labour won its landslide general election victory in July. The freebies will come to light after the role of Lord Ali, who has donated clothes and accommodation to the Labour Party MPs and was given a temporary Downing Street security pass, came under scrutiny. 
the Labour peer donated more than £32,000 worth of clothing and spectacles to Sakia when he was the leader of the opposition, which was not paid back. Uh, Sakia has insisted no rules have been broken, but he has said that he will not accept donations as clothing of clothing, sorry, as prime minister. Uh, Sarah Jones, a business minister, said that she was looking into whether she can pay back uh, the proms tickets given as hospitality by the BBC. Asked whether the cabinet ministers should follow the prime minister's example, Jones uh, told ITV's Good Morning Britain, it's for the people to look at this individually. Interesting. The details of the donations for Sakia paid back have been published in the latest register of the interest of MP on Wednesday. All of the gifts were received between the 17th of August and the 15th of September since Sakia became Prime Minister. The gifts have paid for include pay Taylor Swift tickets from Universal Music Group worth £2,800. Two from football the Football Association at a cost of £598 and four to Doncaster Races uh, from Arena Racing Corporation at £1,939. An £839 clothing rental agreement with Edeline Lee, the designer recently worn by his wife in the London Fashion Week, along with one hour of hair care and makeup was also covered by the Prime Minister. Uh, but Sir Kia is not paying back the cost of the four tickets uh, for a Taylor Swift concert that he attended during the general election campaign in June. That's probably because at the time he wasn't prime minister. But obviously, like I say, the um, the, the general public were a bit, um, you know, a bit taken back by this. And he was asked this in a, like, you know, kind of like a and a session with the prime minister. And this is what he had to say regarding this. Forgive me, Prime Minister, you've decided to repay £6,000 worth of gifts. Why now? Why those gifts and not all of them? Have you decided it was wrong to take them or did you come under pressure? Look, um, we came in as a government of change. Um, we are now going to bring forward principles for donations because until now, um, politicians have used their best individual judgment on a case-by-case -case basis. I think we need some principles um, of general application. So I took the decision that until the principles uh, are in place, it was right for me to make those repayments. Thank you. There you go. And then also moving forwards, obviously, I didn't hear a word of that because my headphones decided that they were going to just start playing up. Um, but I've already kind of watched it and I know exactly what the kind of gig is. But then um, moving forwards as well, there was, um, again, just more kind of talk about him paying it back and stuff like this uh, in this video right here. So it says, Sakir Starmer has paid back more than £6,000 worth of gifts and hospitality that he received since entering. Obviously entering, kind of being the Prime Minister. Number 10, after a row over ministerial donations. The Prime Minister is covering the cost of six Taylor Swift tickets. Apparently he's not covering that. We've just read that he's not going to be covering the Taylor Swift tickets. Four of the races and a clothing rental agreement. So it comes after Sakia and the other cabinet members who vowed to clean up British politics faced weeks of criticism for accepting tens of thousands of pounds worth of freebies from wealthy donors. Um, we came in as a government of change. Um, we are now going to bring forward principles for donations because until now um, politicians have used their best individual judgment on a case-by-case -case basis. I think we need some principles um, of general application. So I took the decision that until the principles uh, are in place, it was right for me to make those repayments. Thank you. Okay, there you go. So obviously, like I say, I don't want to cause World War Three down in the comments. You know, political... Politics is something that I don't like to delve into because I know it can be quite a, a minefield kind of topic. But 
I felt like it was important to cover this because over on this channel specifically I'm, I'm covering kind of like, you know, UK based topics because I think most of my audience is from the UK and most people might not be aware of this, but I felt like it was important to cover it because, well, it's a bit scandalous. It's a bit like, you know, out there. It's a and, and it involves our Prime Minister as well, who obviously has come in and stated that he would be a government of change or he would be the head of a government of change. But we're kind of seeing some repeat behaviours from governments of past. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. This has kind of, from what I've seen, changed the kind of public opinion of Sir Keir Starmer. Um, obviously, when he won the general election back in like August, I think it was, or something ridiculous like that, um, he was like landslide favourite. Now it's kind of the gaps kind of closed a little bit after this. There was always going to be some kind of scandal that was going to do that because in politics there always is. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. While you're down there, be sure to jump to get the hell out of that like button. And until next time, I'll speak to you later. Peace.